All right. Hi and welcome. This is Vicki Draper with Healing Your Animal. And we have Min here today. She's a Bouvier, if you're not familiar with the breed. Gorgeous black um, dog. And We've been doing a monthly message from men for a little while now, and she is eager, eager to share something today. I have no clue. I am, this is live and um, just sharing how animal communication works and demonstrating because you can't see it just like electricity you don't see it but you see the effects when you turn on the light switch the light comes on and so men and i are connecting with this with an energy and we're on the same wavelength the same radio channel as you would could relate to um in that uh, is how animal communication works and the camera, can it come down just a little? Her head's getting cut off. I mean, up the other way. There we go. I want to see all the precious men. And um, men has signed up for this task. She loves, she is, um, her grandfather and great grandfather have, been models and representing my business and support for my business. And so she is taking over this legacy. And so she's very proud to do this job. And so we are here to see what men's message is for us from her point of view. And it's always very insightful and can help you with your pet. Um, have better connections. So, all right, man. There we go. Okay, so I'm connected with her. And she's definitely excited to be here, even though her physical body is very chill. Energetically, she is very happy. Very happy. I know. So what message do you have for us today? Okay. Yes. Oh, there you go. You're going to show us your beautiful face. Yeah. And she is taking over the role. They have a puppy, I guess, 10, 11 month old puppy named Artie in the household that she is proudly teaching. And she's bringing Artie into this picture because she is sharing, she is very, very happy and proud of herself for what she's teaching. And it looks like what she's showing me is something outside. They live on a farm. And so she's showing me outdoors with Artie, showing her the ropes, showing her her favorite spots, men's favorite spots. And oh, she's showing me the sheep. So she's educating Artie about the sheep. Interesting, men, this is the first time we've talked about this. Okay, so, um, so there's, they have sheep on the property. And interesting, she's teaching Artie about the sheep and with a respect. Um, okay, great. My cat Spirit is deciding to join in. <laughs> Are you liking the sheep discussion here? Um, so sheep, what is it? She just keeps showing me like they're standing at the fence line and she's wise, men is wise and is sharing with already about the sheep. So let's see if there's a specific message other than, um, you know, she's saying the sheep are important. Um, <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but she and Artie were are having a conversation and kind of laughing. Um, 
and uh, so Lynn, do you have any information of the sheet that could, you can fill in? Uh, I am. I am suspecting maybe they're talking about Lammy in particular, the sheep in general, and Lammy in particular, because Lammy's a special sheep in that she was um, born premature in the middle of the ice storm, so spent quite a while in the house in a dog crate when Min was little, and Lammy believes she is part of the pack. Okay, so she act like a normal sheep. So Min may be talking to Artie about Lammy. Okay, that makes sense because I'm like, this is not like what a normal dog sheep, you know, picture that I'm seeing would <laughs> would be, um, because yeah, there was a lot of there is a lot of respect there, and so that makes sense. So she's talking to Artie then about that, and I think Min is proud watching that experience that you were just talking about with Lammy in the house and excited and um so it feels like she became protective of Lammy. Okay, so that was Artie's lesson with Lammy. So Is this about interspecies connection and love and respect, Mim? Yeah, because it looks, sounds what it, the image that just keeps coming is um, that men is showing us not having the normal uh, dog sheep relationship. And so showing the possibilities of greater expanded relationships because okay this is just a piece i know men is not showing me this because she's showing me like i said a different relationship with the sheep because i know her grandfather herded and great grandfather herded sheep and that's a whole different energy and so men is presenting this new dimension with um with the sheep and the relationship interesting so that's men's teaching to Artie is um it's it's, it's almost like a, a wider view so it's encompassing I guess I'm interpreting this then uh, taking it one step further that um, it reminds me of like bridging a love between people or animals that are different than you and being inclusive. Interesting. Um, is this kind of the global message? It, it seems like it has this global impact from that level. Um, do you have any comments, Lynn, on this? Well, you know, Lammy is really, she believes she's part of the dog pack and the dog pack believes she's part of that as well. Yes. But yeah, also part of the sheep out there. So she's kind of a bridge between everyone because, you know, she was not <laughs> raised out in the barn like a normal lamb for the first, you know, several weeks of her life. Um, so, you know, it's kind of like one big family, if you want to look at it that way, as far as, you know, Lammy's concerned and, you know, Min's concerned with Lammy being in there. Now, Min will herd the other sheep, but she doesn't herd Lammy. Okay. Okay. Because, yeah, she's not showing me the, the herding, her breeding instincts of, you know, the herding instincts at all with this communication. Um, so, Okay. So she's, her message is talking to Lammy and that bridge, like you're saying, between the two species. Um, interesting, okay. So men, is there anything else? It feels like that's what she wants to, that's her message for today. And that's actually a very powerful message. Um,
and one that it's beautiful to see because then she's passing it down to Artie. Um, okay. Do you get that there's anything else, Lynn? Because that's what I'm getting. No, nope, I'm not picking up anything else. Yeah. I mean, that was her. <laughs> That's what she really wanted to share with us today. And so multiple layers to this conversation because she's proud of passing on information to Artie and educating. And she's proud of the connection with Lammy, a sheep, with a respect and um And so I, this is a different experience, a heightened experience than just a normal dog sheep relationship. And so she's educating the possibility there. And um, an interspecies connect with love. And proud, she's very proud. I'm very proud to be teaching Artie this. And so now she's actually sharing that with all of us and you. All right. Well, thank you, men. Yes, I am proud of you. I thank you for being here. And we honor your message and your wisdom because um, it's great that you can help us humans connect from your point of view. Yes, I love that. So one thing I will shout out is that I have, if you are nervous, anxious, unsettled, um, I have an upcoming pop-up class Saturday, October 21st. 10 to 11.30 a.m. Pacific, where we will go into the grounding, clearing, and protecting of your energy, which helps calm and yeah, calm your, the environment of your animals in your household. So if you have some animals that are a little bit more nervous, skittish, anxious, starting with you is a great place. So this is a great pop-up class. $40, you will get a recording so that you can go back and, you know, follow the meditation and, and the techniques to get into that while you build a habit. You can easily go to healingyouranimal.com under classes, events, and sign up. And so thank you guys for being here. Thank you, men and Lynn, because you have to have your human, that's right, to help with the technology to set this up. <laughs> for you to communicate to the world. So greatly appreciate your, your participating man um, and helping me with my mission in helping bridge the gap between humans and animals. In this case, humans and dogs. So, oh, maybe that's why spirit showed up to say, okay, cats too. All right, because he doesn't usually Zoom bomb these conversations. <laughs> so, um, all right. So thank you, men. Thank you, spirit. And this is Vicki Draper with Healing Your Animal. See you next time.